Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So yep, we're outside in my backyard and as the title suggests, I am installing a street lamp here in my backyard. Right over there in that area over there by that skinny tree. I'm going to attach just a temporary 2x4 to that pole so that I can temporarily mount the light and test it out and see how it works. In that area over there we have no lighting and at night it's completely dark. So I have four chihuahuas that I let out and I like to know that they're safe at night. I can't see them, they're so small. So hopefully putting that street lamp in that area will help illuminate that whole area over there and we'll be able to solve that issue. Now, I do want to say I want to thank Endurance Lights for sending me the 90 watt 9000 lumen street lamp. It's a solar street lamp and I'm going to take you through the process of going over the specs and all that stuff and then we're going to actually get it installed here again. I'm just going to strap a 2x4 that I painted black to my fence for a temporary mounting situation just to test out the light. So if you're interested in seeing this, just stick around. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Here you can see the actual solar light itself. This is the solar panel, it's the top side. It's an integrated all-in-one unit. Included in the box as well is this mounting bracket which is used to attach the mounting pole. Also included in the box, as you can see here, it just simply slides in here. The bracket goes over the top and then gets attached using the supplied screws and hex nuts. You also get this bracket here, which is used for actually mounting the mounting bracket to a surface if you choose that type of installation. You see it here, and it also comes with the supplied set of screws and hex nuts. They also include anchors for mounting into a cement surface, and then finally the remote control, which is pretty basic. We'll take a closer look at the remote control and its features a little later on in the video. What I wanna do now is switch over to the Endurance Lights website so that we could take a closer look at the pricing and some of the features. So here we are on the Endurance Lights website. You can see a single unit is $89.95. If you buy two, the price drops to $67.46 each. If you buy a triple pack, it's $59.37 each. And if you buy six or more, the price drops per unit to $59.37. Looking at some of the features, it claims to be very easy to install. And that's true because there's actually no wiring to contend with. It's all solar powered. It has a motion sensing mode. It comes with the remote control. Now on the remote control, the timer features say two, four and six hours. Although here it says two, three, and four hours. So we're gonna to have to test that out over time and see which is actually correct. There's an auto mode that turns on in the evening, stays on all night. And from what I understand, you get about 12 hours of light on a six to eight hour charge. And it does take about six to eight hours of sunlight to charge the light. It has a waterproof construction. The color temperature is between 6,000 and 6,500 Kelvin. It's got 180 super bright LEDs, which we'll take a closer look at the light itself in a minute. It's got five lighting modes, motion detection, always on two hours, four hours, and six hours. And then here it does match what it says on the remote control as far as the timer modes. The battery size is 12,000 milliamps and the light coverage is 25 by 25 feet or 625 square feet. The light itself is 25.5 by 7.9 inches as far as the dimensions. And then just to scroll down here to take a closer look at some of the other benefits, it does come with a one year warranty. Looking at the light itself, here you can see the top side. We're looking at the solar panel. It's an all-in-one integrated device. If I flip it over now, you can see the other side. Here's the green on off button, the sensor, the three LED banks. Each bank contains 60 LED bulbs for a total of 180 bright LEDs, 90 watts of power, 9,000 lumens. All right, so now we're gonna look at the remote control that came with the actual unit. It's pretty small, as you can see here. It's a decent form factor. It's light, it's made out of plastic. If I flip it over and remove the battery cover, you can see here's where you insert two AAA batteries by the way, which did not come with the unit. You have to supply those yourselves. On the front of the unit, going down the left side, the top is a red on off button. Then the first button here is a two hour timer button, a four hour timer button, a six hour timer button. 
Going down the other side, the two buttons is the first one is an induction button, and then the second one is an always on button. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back outside. We're gonna get the mounting bracket attached to that two by four that's attached to my fence. Again, it's a temporary installation. Then we're gonna mount the light to the mounting bracket, let it charge for the rest of the day. Hopefully tonight we'll be able to capture some footage of the illuminated area. So what I'm doing here is just attaching the mounting bracket to the wooden pole. I had to add an additional wooden plate on the top because the hole spacing was wider than the actual two by four. Here's a look at the pole just erected with wire ties temporarily to the fence. And here I'm just inserting the screws into the plate just tightening them by hand loosely so that I can get the actual light up onto the pole. I'm just aligning the light now on the pole, getting it positioned the way I want. And then I'm going to tighten up the screws using a 1732nd ratchet. Here I'm just giving them a hand tightening and then I'll go around with the ratchet and give them a good secure tightening. All right, so here's a look at the light at night. It's on at 100%. Eventually it will go to 30% after a few seconds of being on. There we go. It'll stay at 30% until it detects motion. You can see I'm moving towards it and it detected me and now it's back up at 100%. It'll stay at 100% for 10 to 15 seconds, then return to 30%. There it is back at 30%. And now I'm going to show you with the light off so you can appreciate how much even at 30% it illuminates the area. All right, so the endurance street light is now installed in my backyard. I don't have to worry about my puppies anymore going out in the dark. What I do like about this light is the fact that it is solar, it can be installed anywhere. It has motion detection. It provides some security features by illuminating that area that was really dark in my yard. So if you like this video and you like this type of video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.